Hello everyone. I hope uh, everybody is uh, doing well and um, very excited for Christmas. It's just two weeks away and um, yeah, it's I, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are very excited and uh, can't wait for Christmas Day. Um, it's a yeah, it's always a good day, a good um, occasion to be with everyone with the family um, exchanging gifts uh, especially when i was a kid i was always um, excited for christmas and i'm still uh, excited and of course for me it's also very memorable um, christmas this year to have uh, another year uh, to be with my family so that's always um, something that uh, you know um, i will always look forward to um, well, I would like to make this video because uh, in the last, I think, um, six weeks, if I'm not mistaken, or uh, seven weeks, um, well, we, I've had several things going on and um, the last video I made, it was about the COVID. I had COVID and, um, and uh, yeah, for the first time and actually until now, I'm still not 100% uh, back with my uh, sense of, of taste, uh, smell, you know, uh, it's not 100% yet. And what I also noticed is that um, after COVID, I'm still feeling really weak and um, and always tired I know I'm sick and uh, I just can compare with my, you know, I, I know I'm not, my energy level went down since I got sick, but I'm still a very active person and I can compare before and after I got COVID. And um, another thing is that I'm also, it's like everything is kind of heightened um, or especially um, with my headache, it's, yeah, I have, I have been, yeah, having headache every day and sometimes there's like yeah it's it's too too much you know it's really painful um and uh there's a spikes in uh within the day for example and uh i think i never stopped taking paracetamol uh because of it um to help me with the pain it helps definitely it helps but um it it helps temporarily the next day i will have a headache again so it was really annoying um and um so today actually i came from uh, avl anthony van leeuwenhoek in amsterdam they are um for those that are just watching my video so uh meander amersfoort and avl in amsterdam they are working together for my treatment so sometimes i have a scan at avl and and sometimes uh and after that it will be meander so you know uh, alternate um so i went there for um because of my headache so we or they decided to uh have me checked by a neurosurgeon uh neurolog and um and the test came uh, positive actually so he said that um it's it's not something well for now everything looks really good uh he doesn't think that there's something wrong with my brain um that there because i also had my uh, mri and my ct scan like the normal checkup um two weeks ago and the result was also um well it's also positive actually um for the mri they see one um thing there that is not uh, as as it was before so it, this is kind of new but they they assume that that's more like a blood vessel than uh, a new tumor and um so there's nothing to worry about it um the other thing of course with my ct scan um the problem was 
uh, I also have uh, pain again in my back and uh, I, I have been uh, yeah after corona it got really really worse there were times when I walk like a 90 year old woman again so it was kind of uh, you know deja vu from from two almost two years ago that I couldn't um, not that I couldn't walk of course I couldn't I can I, I I was able to walk but in the night for example when the pain is really like um, yeah uh, when it's really really painful um, that I walk so slow and uh, that I really uh, even when I'm lying down it still feels uh, it's so painful and it was actually um, the pain I used to have was uh, at the tailbone so the coccyx, bo coccyx bone if I say it correctly um, so it's a tailbone and um, I, it was a bit alarming because that was the, the pain I experienced before I was diagnosed with cancer. So um, and having it again now, um, it was worrisome. So of course I had the scan, um, the CT scan and the um, uh, laboratory and um that part of the scan was only until here so the tailbone was not uh, part of it or they are not able to see it uh then so they decided because i was complaining about the pain um they decided to have a pet scan again and um in the pet scan i can uh, show you uh the results from the doctor um but of course the um this is this was my uh, second pet scan the the first one uh, was in january when um yeah to make sure you know uh, what's going on so that that time it was not um clear yet where uh the cancer started or what kind of cancer they know it's cancer but where it started they have to identify it and um uh, i had a pet scan and uh, that was january so actually the, the there the, there's only two pet scan uh, and of course the comparison we i think is a bit um yeah, it's uh, there's there's a, a a big gap in between. I feel like because of course that was the first one, which was before I I uh, I was uh, before I'm taking Tagreso. So um, so of course you can see it's really worse um, uh, the 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 result, and now um, of course it's uh, we it could have been nicer if you know um, uh, there is a scan in between. So let's say in after a year, uh, I had a PET scan, for example, and then you can compare it uh, to now. But, you know, um, anyway, um, the doctor said that it also looks good. Um, they or he found some uh, active part and that's in the spine area. And um, but it's really small but um yeah that's a, that's the active part so um he said that in his own um yeah um uh opinion it's not something alarming it's not something that uh can cause uh further you know uh uh, yeah, uh, lesion or something like that. He believes that it is still from before, so that the um, because I'm I am not cancer free. Um, they are just inactive right now because of the aggresso, but they are still everywhere. <laughs> um, so he thinks that um. Uh, with the previous skin and this time the the active part is a part of a bigger uh, metastasis from before so um, but he said of course to make sure um, we have to talk about it with the uh, with his colleagues and he will give me a call an update about it to have kind of a opinion second opinion from the whole team um, Aviel uh, Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek uh 
also asked for the copy of my CT scan, uh, my doctor, and he said that they will also um, have their own assessments, uh, their interpret interpretation of the of the PET scan and give me a feedback as well so they uh, or he will call me next week um and that's uh for the next step because of course i was complaining about my headache so that was addressed with the neurosurgeon today appointment and it seems like everything was doing well the only thing that 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 he said we can try is that um well it's also new to me but he said that if you are taking paracetamol every day uh even if it's just one tablet a day for 15 days you know uh consecutive 15 days then um it can induce headache so that was very surprising because i thought yeah paracetamol helps when there's pain um so he said uh, we will stop with paracetamol for the next three months so i'm not allowed to take paracetamol in the next three months it will be substituted with another medicine um and the the idea is to really uh, you know be off paracetamol um and after two weeks um i get the medicine today so i will take it one tablet at um per day and um for the next two weeks and then he will give me a call to check how uh, i'm doing and if the headache improved or gone or you know just anything of course just to check um he also mentioned that with this medicine um because i'm driving i have to observe the side effects if it makes me drowsy then he advised to to take it uh, in the night and um, also yeah just just observe it for the next uh, coming days and uh, um, yeah and if it's making me drowsy or whatever then of course I'm not allowed to drive but um, yeah basically that's it and we I will see him in in eight weeks so um regarding my uh yeah that my doctor at avio he will also give me yeah he will give me a call next week and that's for everything so he said of course the active part in my spine because he was um uh, uh he also asked for a copy so he, they will have their own uh, assessment like I, i've mentioned um he will also uh, tell me what they think would be the best thing to do Either they will do something about the active part, you know, um, in my spine, or um, just let it be. Um, and also um, for my next scan in January, if they will also include MRI, because I just had MRI uh, two weeks ago, um, to really make sure about my headache part so um he will also mention everything in that call so um yeah so so far uh, i believe that the Gresso is still working um, um for those that are taking the Gresso, by the way um i don't know if you have the same kind of uh yeah side effect or whatever but this is new to me i have now curly hairs crazy waves you know i used to be really uh, I used to really have uh, straight hair and sometimes it's even hard for me to make curls if I want to style it into curls because it's just like there for 10 minutes and then after that you know it goes back to straight I yeah and I have very fine hair but I noticed actually since um, uh, summer of this year I was in the Philippines that I have this all this like uh, the regrowth actually because I had hair fall uh, when I started the Gresso and um, I I, re I noticed that you know my regrowth is kind of curly and or wavy uh, you know and uh, for a while I've been trying to really um, uh, use an iron you know to to flatten it because I'm kind of yeah it's weird you know why do I have curls up up here and then straight down so um but of course uh the the curls get really crazy who <laughs> uh, you know so um then my daughter Zuri said to me mom why don't you just embrace it you know 
uh, put a mousse to make it just then curly or whatever so yeah and uh, now i have curly hair so i didn't for those who are wondering if i did something with my hair i didn't i didn't it's natural <laughs> but i'm embracing it rather than going against it you know um make it simpler actually i don't have to blow dry my hair don't have to brush my hair just put mousse and then leave it and then that's it so i'm wondering if you guys experience the same for those that are taking tagreso so uh, it's funny but uh well everybody likes it i like it as well um uh, for a change of course um I think um it, it's a good uh it's still good i believe it is still good the medicine is still working i'm very happy with it um for those that are also ha um watching my video with the egfr mutation there's a group on facebook that i uh, joined and you see a lot of people taking tagreso by the way and a lot of them also well of course there's good and bad that you will see but um uh, a lot of people are really experiencing a good or at least now effect of the Gresso. Uh, they are able to enjoy life um, despite that it's incurable. Um, there's two people I've seen who uh, who are in the Gresso. Um, they started with a different uh, treatment earlier uh, in their uh, cancer, but they are now uh, with the Gresso and they are ninth in you know, on their ninth year. So nine years that they are still alive, you know, and still feeling good. So that's, that's uh, of course, again, you know, uh, these are very, very good news. It gives us hope. It gives us, you know, um, uh, yeah, the, the faith that uh, to believe in this medicine and, uh, you know, just continue with our life. Um, and uh, these things just makes you more hopeful, you know um so yeah uh i don't know how many mutations uh they have but of course as i know I, I i checked i joined this group because i wanted to find um that three other four or three four people with the same mutation as i do like i mentioned in my previous video as well so i was hoping i will find them there um but again if you just want to have um uh, you know um to hear other people's story about their EGFR, uh, lung cancer, different, uh, there are times when it's sad, of course, somebody passed away, or the aggressor is not working after a few months, you know, of course, it's not nice to hear, but just for general browsing and knowledge, uh, share um, experiences, you know, uh, that's where I found out also that um, there are some people with crazy waves because of the aggressor. So, um, yeah um i guess um we will in, end the year with still a good uh, result and i'm very 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 happy with it um i can't wait for the next year i can't wait to spend more time with my family and i can't wait for next month because it's gonna be my 40th birthday so it seems like i'm gonna reach my 40th uh and maybe more you know so um yeah well i thank you guys for watching if i won't be able to make a video before christmas i wish you all a merry 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 christmas and a, a very happy new year so thank you everyone until next time bye